Welcome to this Google Apps screencast where we'll take a look at creating a turn-in form. This video is geared at teachers that want to create a turn-in form to collect links to Google files from your students. So here I am already started in a Google form. If you're not sure how to create a Google form, Google it. I'm editing my form. Because I'm in a Google Apps domain, when I create a form I get these checkbox choices at the top. I would recommend when creating the form uh, it's a turn-in form. Don't check any of these. Leave these all unchecked. Here's the title of my form. Here's a little descriptor for my students to read. And then going down, I've got a few questions here, and I'll just briefly explain how I set each of these up. So if you want to set up one the same, you can. Uh, this first question is a text question. What I mean by that is if I were to edit this question, the question type is a text type of question where I'm just collecting one line of text from the, uh, from the students. And that's just asking, what is your first name? Second question is, what is your last name? The reason I do these separate is uh, later you can filter by the data you collect. All this goes into a spreadsheet. And so by having first name and last name separate, I could actually alphabetize the list. And I'll show that a little bit later. Third question here is a, if I take a look at this, it's a choose from a list question where I've asked, uh, what hour do you have this class? So is this is a middle school teacher teaching five classes or high school teacher. Uh, this is a great way again to sort information later and I'll show that. Fourth question is what is the assignment you're turning in? This is a question that you might come back in and edit throughout your time, uh, your term, your semester that you're using this form with students. So what this is aimed at is collecting exactly which assignment, uh, which assignment the students are turning in the link for. So this again is a choose from a list question where again I can come back in and I can continue adding into this uh, throughout the year. So you don't have to populate this question completely at the beginning of the year. You can come back in and continue to edit. Then the last question is asking for the link to the uh, to the file that the students have already shared to you. And that's very important. The first step for the students is they have to share the file to you or they have to put it in a turn in folder that is shared to you and then they would copy the link for that file, put it here, and you'll see the process here in a little bit of, of what that allows for. So I've gone through, I've been editing here, I'm going to save this. If you want to see what the actual form looks like, the link is always at the bottom here when you're in edit mode. I'm going to close out of edit mode. What a turn-in form or a Google form is, is really just a spreadsheet. So as each submission comes in, a line gets populated in the spreadsheet collecting that data from that user. So as we look at this, this is one that is an example that's already been filled out. So let me zoom out here a little bit so this makes a little more sense. So these are links that were turned in all during the last term. Now to look at this and, and, and see all this information might be a lot. One of the nice features in Google Spreadsheets is that you can go to View and choose List View for a spreadsheet. So if I go to List View, this takes me into this drop-down menu populated view of the of the spreadsheet where I can use these drop downs here to filter what I want to see. So for example, let's say I wanted to look at a specific assignment. I'd come to this, what assignment are you turning in? And I choose from the drop down. These were the choices that I had put in as the teacher. So let's say I want to look at this specific assignment. So now it's filtering and it's only showing the results for students that that chose that. So here are the links to all these students. Now, however, this is still kind of scattered with the class hours. So now that I've chosen the assignment, I could choose the class hour. Say I only want to see third hour for this particular assignment. Now when I scroll through, these are only the third hour students. Let's say you also want to alphabetize by last name. These links for each column, you can click on these. So if I click on what is your last name, not only is it staying filtered by third hour, by assignment, but I have now filtered by last name, so alphabetically I can go through my students' assignments. Just a great way if you like to organize your stuff, uh, this is a great way to do that. You can always go back to Spreadsheet View, and again, if you want to get back in there, you can always go back to List View. If you need to go back and edit the form, when you open the spreadsheet in Google Drive, you can go to Form, Edit Form. That takes you back to the edit mode we were in earlier. If you want to get the link for the form so you can put it on your teacher web page or send it to your students, you can go to the form drop down and choose go to live form. And this is the link right here to the form. This is what you would put on your uh, teacher web page. You might email out to your students. You want to make sure your students know exactly how to get to this form. So that is how you can use, create, and use a turn in form with your students. Thanks for watching.